Hi, my name is Elias and today I'm going to talk about the impact of winning face-offs on expected goals in power plays. So over the last decade, the overall efficiency of power plays in the SHL has been on the rise, which means that power plays have become a more and more important part of the game. Every power play starts with a face-off. Therefore, I chose to analyze how does winning a face-off impact the expected goals in power plays. So in this student competition, we analyze the data set from SportLogic with data from the SHL. To analyze the impact of the face-off result, I had to define which event I should count as a result of the face-off. And I chose the simplistic approach where I counted all expected goals between the current face-off and the next face-off in the power play. If it was the last face-off of the power play, I just stopped counting the expected goals when the power play ended. So a total of 242 face-offs were analyzed during 135 penalties. Of these, 146 face-offs were won and 96 were lost by the power play team. When the power play team won the face-off, 24 goals were scored with an expected goals of 16.44, resulting in an expected goals per 60 minutes of 8.17. In contrast, when the power play team lost the face-off, eight goals were scored with an expected goals of 8.31, resulting in 5.90 in expected goals per 60 minutes. These results indicate a significant difference in the expected goals per 60 minutes when comparing face-off wins and losses. Winning a face-off during a power play led to an increase in expected goals per 60 minutes by 38%. So with a 38% increase in expected goals, it is evident that winning a face-off during a power play leads to a significant increase of the expected goals. Therefore, having a great face-off player on the ice during a power play is highly important. Since face-offs seem to be very important for scoring in the power play, teams should potentially prioritize improving their face-off strategies rather than other components of their power play game, especially if they have weak face-off statistics in the power play. It is important to mention that the dataset used in this study covers a relatively small sample size of only 20 games. Therefore, the findings should be interpreted with caution. Future research with a larger dataset could help to confirm or refute the findings of the study. I also chose a simple approach to what shots should be included in the analysis and a more complex model could be more accurate. Despite these limitations, I believe this study may provide valuable insight into the impact of winning face-offs in the power play. Thank you for listening. Hey, Elias, we are putting you on the screen now. Yep. Actually, I've heard this discussion about our face-off is important or not. Uh, quite a lot on TV. Some people say very important, some people say not important at all. So it's interesting to get some insights in that. Any questions from the audience? I actually would have a question to the audience. We have many analysts here. How, how do you see this, this, this problem of face-offs? Is this something that uh, you see? Of course, when you have a face off, win a face off in power play, you start a power play in the zone. But yeah, go on. My first first day here. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for the information. Um, I was myself both in charge of power play and face offs uh, for the last seasons in my team. So it's interesting to see some some good numbers on it. I appreciate that. Uh, also. I think it's important to to focus on it when you have the power play. It's just when you coach the team, it's easy when the power play is not working that you start to line them up in a different position and start to pass around and create stuff. But I think this is pretty obvious. It's an easy way. Check the face up numbers. Is the are they low? Work on the face offs first. So it's just good numbers to have in the back of the head when when you coach power play. So thank you for that information. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a question online. Okay. Uh, did you check if there was a significant difference between offensive face-offs 
wins on the power play versus at even strength? Mm, no, I didn't actually check that. I only looked at really like the power plays and didn't really check where the face off were. So, yeah. Okay.